Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Aliens, another glorious day in the core, a cooperative survival game coming to us from Gale Force 9. Something is wrong in Hadley's Hope. Walking through the dark corridors, you can see a one-sided struggle went down here. Sparking wires and flickering lights give you some fleeting glimpses of the carnage. All right, so a cooperative survival game set in the universe of Aliens, the second film in the series, which was a very action-packed film. And so perhaps this game is leaning into that action-packed feel, who knows, but Let's take a look at it and see what we can find here. Here's our rule book. And it gives us the overview here, along with our components. And it looks like we've got seven character models and 16 alien models. Now, I'm getting a glimpse here that these models have to be snapped together. They're not completely assembled, but it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of assembly required. But we'll take a look at that in a moment. Here we've got our game set up, our mission cards, game boards, character cards, heroes, grunts. Gear up your characters, building your endurance deck, aim dials, spawn points, and blip tokens. So it looks like it's definitely going to be kind of emulating the experience of being on that ship and having the xenomorphs that are coming at you from all angles and you don't know where they're going to come from. You've got barricaded doors and walls and... Here's our game turn sequence. You've got the marine phase, which has an activate, activation order and character activations, then the alien phase, and then the finish phase. All right. Looks like you can perform up to two actions on your turn. You can do tech tests and move. And well, I guess tech tests are things that you might need to do when you take an action. You can move, you can attack. They talk about line of sight. You can barricade, you can aim, you can interact, and you can rest. Okay. Then you've got the alien phase, all of their activations and movements and things along those lines. Looks like it's a relatively involved game. Looks like there's also a way to play this as a campaign. All right. Well, let's take a look at, and then you've got a nice reference on the back there, which is always nice as well. <clears throat> Pardon me. So this looks like the setup for the different missions here. There we've got our mission one, which is Newt. Along with your mission goal and various rules that are specific to that mission. How to set up the different boards. Along with the key along the lines, on along the right side here, a rescue mission, a supply mission, a bug hunt, Hadley's Hope, Right, atmosphere processing plant, outpost alpha 116, supply depot. I think we get the idea there. And this is our assembly guide for the mini. So yeah, it looks like they are generally snapped together. I don't know if you would need glue with this. All tails are interchangeable, all arms are interchangeable. Okay, well, that's handy. Let's look at the boards here. Double-sided boards. Sorry, this is very black, so we're getting a bit of shine and glare, but I think we're getting the main idea here. Now we've got some cardboard tokens. Seem to be a fine quality. I'm not going to punch all these out, but just so you can get an idea of things here. And it looks like these are dials that we would put together. Here's our characters. Game over, man! Yeah, you know, I mean, come on, you had to do it. I'm sure everyone's going to try to pick Hudson first so that they can do that in such a way to be obnoxious and to bother everybody that is playing. All right, here are our un- assembled minis. Try to give you some sense of the 
detail on those. I don't know how much you can really get a sense of them, but here's some of our baddies. You can get an idea for it anyway. All right, those have to be assembled and put together. We've got some dice here. Look like standard. A couple of D D10s here. A D6. All right. And we've got some cards. So let's take a look at those cards. Are these cards going to cooperate? Yes, they are. Sometimes they tease you with these card packs that look like they're easy open and they're not, but this, these were pretty good. So we've got our weapons here, our pulse rifle. Got a number of pulse rifles, grenades. A lot of text on these cards that are going to kind of explain how they work and what else they might do. But yeah, there's a fair amount of text on these cards. Your mileage may vary on whether you like that or not. I guess the, the counter effect to that is that if you don't go to a lot of text on the cards, then you have icon soup. And it looks like this has fewer icons that you're dealing with. So it really, I guess, just depends on your opinion on how to handle cards like that. These are just some help cards. Marine phase. The alien phase and the finish phase. I just kind of go into a little bit of detail on those. And it looks like here we've got some blip cards and some baddie cards. Now these are being a little bit trickier, so I'll bring out the hardware to get these open. All right, so we've got our alien scout here. Our alien vanguard. Our relentless horde. intelligent foe. So these are going to determine which baddies are coming out and maybe what they're going to do. Perhaps there might be some false alarms, hidden attacks. They come out at night, mostly. Or they mostly come out at night. See, I ruined that iconic phrase. Oh, well. Sorry, Newt. All right. Well, I think that gives us a pretty good idea of what we're going to find inside the box of Aliens, Another Glorious Day in the Core. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.